how are you supposed to move and get power in the golf swing as we get older, what I like to call an experienced golfer? Well, I'm here to tell you that there's still hope and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. I'm PGA teaching professional Todd Culp, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV. And today I am here at the beautiful Lone Tree Golf Club in the Phoenix area. This place is fantastic. And I tell you what, if you're in the area, you gotta check this place out. But today we're talking about how do we actually move in the golf swing? What's the proper pivot for an older golfer, what we like to call the experienced golfer? So if, if this is you and you're out there, all right, and you're watching this, put it in the comments. How old are you? I love hearing from you when you're out there, like, are you 50, are you 60? And what types of aches and pains do you have? Is it a knee, is it a hip, is it a back, is it an elbow? What is it? Because that helps us develop our content and help you. So first of all, there are three different ways that we can create what I'm gonna call power in the golf swing. Let's go through those real quick, and then we're gonna talk about specifically you, the experienced golfer. So number one is you can create speed or power in the golf swing by moving pressure or weight from side to side, right? So if I start with my weight on my lead foot, and I move my weight towards my trail foot, which you should be doing, okay, on the back swing, that will help you create some club head speed, much like if you were gonna throw a football. You'd start here, you'd kind of go to your back foot, and you would go ahead and throw it. Football, baseball, you name it. So that's number one, all right? Number two is rotation, right? If I rotate, this helps me create energy and power because I can unwind and re-rotate that. Very common, like in tennis, you see a lot of rotation. You'll see rotation in shot putting, all types of different sports we see rotation. The third one is what we call up and down. We call it vertical. So when I push and I jump, that creates energy and power. Think of a basketball player. When they shoot, if they jump, they can shoot the ball from a further distance than they can if they just stand flat-footed. So as an older golfer, which one of those is best for you? Well, the answer is, is it side to side? So let's talk about that. How can we do that? So you'll notice I intentionally put the mic here on my right hip so we can learn how to do that. So when we start, the most important thing in terms of moving properly for an older golfer is that you gotta start with some weight on your lead foot. Now I recommend probably 60%, okay? I'm also gonna suggest that in order to do this, you take your toes and you flare them out. See how my toes are flared out, okay? You don't wanna start like this with your toes straight ahead or square, unless you got a lot of flexibility. <laughs> and if you're watching this video, it's probably not you. So take your toes and flare them out and start with some weight on your lead foot. Now the next thing you're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and hit a shot because I wanna demonstrate this a little bit here, is early in the backswing, you gotta move your weight towards your trail foot. Now I put the box on here, because I want you to watch my mic box. As I load my trail foot, I want that box to go backwards. See that? It goes backwards. So I start left or lead, I go trail, but in the combination, the box goes back. A lot of golfers, and we get this comment a lot in our comments, they'll say, Todd, but when I move my weight to my trail foot, isn't that a sway? It's not a sway if the box moves back. If the box goes out, that's a sway. Let's, let me hit a shot, let me show you. Here's a sway, watch the box. I'm gonna start lead. Okay, could you, <laughs> you hear the sound on that? I mean, it sounded almost hollow. Like, I mean, nothing on it, no power. And hey, I probably exaggerated a little bit. You've been around long enough to know that I probably exaggerated that a little bit. This time though, I'm gonna do it correct. I'm gonna start lead, I'm gonna go trail, watch the box. You can probably even see it from down the line. See that box move there? That's where you want it to go. Here we go, start lead, move the box back. Okay, that was better, I'm not gonna lie. I don't like lying to my viewers out there. That was not super solid though, but it was definitely better than the previous one. So that's tip number one. Start with weight on your lead foot, move it to trail, but as you do that, move the ball, excuse me, move the box back a little bit. Now, let's talk a little bit about the forward swing. Okay, what about the forward swing? Well, on the forward swing, you gotta reverse that. You gotta get your weight going forward. So you're here, you're loaded, and now you've gotta get going forward. So when you finish your swing, you gotta get your weight on your lead foot. So let me go ahead and hit another shot here. And I want you to watch where I'm at when I finish. Watch the box, back. All right, that was better. Notice the finish, see where I'm at. I'm on my lead foot, balanced. The tip here, knees touch, see that? Knees touching. 
What a lot of experienced golfers, older golfers do. Here's what they do. They keep their weight on their back foot. So it looks like this. Back here. Where's my weight here? It's on my back foot. This is not a good pivot motion for an older golfer. We've got to be here. All right, so let's go ahead and tie it here together. Let's tie this together. So here's what we know. As we get older, as we get older, we got aches, pains, balance. We don't move like we used to move, but that does not mean that we can't make good golf swings. But we've got to understand how to move our body correctly for what we're capable of doing, right? So here we go. We're going to start with the weight on the lead foot. We're going to move it to the trail, but the mic box is going to go back. Okay, I've even done this drill with some of my younger students. They don't have a mic box on, but you know what they all have? They all got a dang phone. Every young kid's got a phone. And where they got it? Probably in their back pocket. So you might try that. Put your phone in your back pocket, and as you rotate, get the phone to go backwards. That's a good visual. It's a good tip for you to feel that. So here we go. Start weight lead. Go trail. Mic box goes back. Knees touch. Let's combo it and try it together. Lead. Box back, knees touch. Boom, there it is, best one of the day. So, just because you're older, doesn't mean that you can't move, doesn't mean that you can't enjoy great golf, but you gotta understand what your body is capable of doing. These tips right here are gonna help you do just that.